will never go to, to pointing fingers. We have to handle this as a team. And, you know, if if it takes for us to get our ass looked like this, for us to be the team that we want to be this year, then let's ride. Frustrated, embarrassed, and upset. Those three emotions summed up how Wisconsin felt after Saturday's 41-13 loss to Notre Dame. The Badgers were up 13-10 in the fourth and then didn't finish the game. Instead, they gave it away with four fourth-quarter turnovers that led to 24 average points, and not to mention a kickoff that was returned for a touchdown. The defense played good enough to win. The offense did not. And the point of emphasis after the game? stay together. The message is don't you dare start pointing fingers. Don't you dare start dividing. We have to stay together in this. Um, and if, if we want to be the team that we want to be, we have to stay together. We can sulk and, and let this game beat you twice, I think we talked about before. Um, or we can kind of bounce back and and like take these opportunities like like we have and, and maximize them. Nine opportunities left to prove that what we saw on Saturday isn't Badger football. He's a Wisconsin State Journal columnist Jim Polzine. I'm Zach Hanley and this is the Badger Blueprint. The Badger offense did not look good against the Irish. Five three and outs, six punts, and they converted just once on third down. Throw in those five turnovers and it was a performance to forget. And it's one the offense says they can fix as long as they stop shooting themselves in the foot. Comes down to finishing. Finishing drives, scoring touchdowns. And for me, that's no way to end a game. Um, force some throws that uh, just trying to make a play, get the, get the ball to the guys, so definitely don't want to finish a game like that. We just got to keep swinging, I and mean, that, that's the thing that we got to get everybody on the same page. We got to try to limit some of the turnovers that we have, the no. self-inflicting wounds, uh, the mistakes, the five starts. Yeah. Uh, just little things like as a, we got to come together as a full 11. Not something you expect coming off a bye week, but Jim, this is starting to become a trend for the offense. It is, and a lot of people want to blame Graham Mertz, and I know we're going to talk about him later. The one thing that's really shown up in the two losses is offensive line and, and how poor they've been. Uh, we're used to offensive lines that, that establish the run, that, that push the, you know, the defense back. We haven't seen much of that in the, in the two defeats this year. Joe Rudolph is playing nine guys. I don't know that that rhythm is being set. It just looks like a kind of a, some chaos up there. Against Penn State, Mertz didn't look great. He completed 59% of his passes, but turned the ball over three times, didn't throw a touchdown, and Wisconsin lost the game. Then coming off a of bye week, 44% completion, and this is the big one, four picks and another fumble. That's eight turnovers in two losses. You can't win games if you can't hold on to the ball. The thing I've appreciated from him is, again, kind of what we were talking about before was was owning it and then having a true desire to work through it and he is one part of it. Obviously you have to learn from Notre Dame, Penn State and um, make sure it doesn't happen again but I'm not, I'm not focused on going on the pass. After his Badger debut last year, expectations were through the roof but Mertz really hasn't looked the same since that first part of the Michigan game. Where do you think he is mentally, Jim? Yeah, Zach, he's saying all the right things. You know, he comes in the post-game press conferences. He's accountable. He's taking the blame. He's not pointing fingers. But when you see him on the field, he just doesn't look like a guy that trusts himself. You've seen a couple times where he's double-pumped on passes. I don't think he's trusting his reads. The turnover issue has really gone back to last season. In the five defeats since the start of last season, he's turned the ball over 15 times. So it's been a consistent theme. On the other side of the ball, the Wisconsin defense is in mid-season form. They lead the nation in rushing defense, rank second in total defense, and are coming off a six-sack performance. Up next is the Michigan team who likes to run the ball, but will air it out too. And the Badgers say they're ready for a physical afternoon of football. We're expecting this game to be a physical one uh, just by watching their film. They're, it seems like they're going to want to run the ball up the middle and kind of, you know, set that tone. We've got enough talent to be a good team. And... You know, right now, we're doing some things that make it harder to win. And still to come, it's on to Michigan. Will the Badgers bounce back and get back to Wisconsin football? Find out next on the Badger Blueprint. Wisconsin is in a bit of a rut right now. They've lost seven straight to ranked teams, and in their last 18 games, they're 9-9. Nine and nine. That's not the Badger football we're accustomed to seeing, and they know they're the only ones that can change it. It's on us to, to change the narrative right now. You know, we, we have to win big games. We have to show up in, in, in crucial moments and, and find ways to get victories. Simple as that. And, and I think I've said this before earlier this year, no one feels bad for the Wisconsin Badgers right now. Wisconsin has won two straight over Michigan. Do they make it three in a row on Saturday? 
Zach, I'm going to completely contradict myself. Last week I said that I don't trust this team against a ranked team in a, in a big game, but I still I just feel like they're going to win this week. It's a gut feeling. It's a must-win game for them. Throw any cliche out you want. I think Wisconsin wins this 20-17. Last week I said they'd win by 8, and then they lost by 31. The Badger defense going to play well, but the offense has yet to show up. So unless Jack Sanborn scores a touchdown, I don't see them winning.